Hi and welcome to a new tutorial of mine. This time I want to show you uh, how to create a sound with particles. Um, this video is my very first where I try to voice over. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the very first time I will do this ever. So um, I'm a bit nervous, uh, but I hope uh, you will enjoy it and it's helpful. So first of all I want to have the dark scene, uh, because space is dark and we can work on our sound a lot better. So I prepared uh, a space skybox, as you can see it's only uh, a generic one, procedural one. Um, I lowered the atmospheric thickness to very dark blue. You can find uh, the skybox under material and um, a skybox shader. So then, our first particle system uh, will be the sun surface. Um, I reset it to zero again, as usual, and name it sun surface. shape to sphere. Yeah, next I want to emit the particles from the shell and align, this, align them to the direction they are spawning, or they are facing. So um, this is both checked, the particles um, and their normal direction, they, they, uh, their uh, moving direction is aligned. So um, you can now see when I change the size of them, that they are facing their the moving direction. Uh, but uh, I set the uh, speed to zero so that they are staying on the surface uh, at the points where they spawn but they are facing away. This bright white is a bit boring <laughs> and confusing so uh, next up I build a material call it a sun surface and uh, set this to particle adaptive adaptive soft and um, the texture I'm using for this is the smoke texture again uh, I was using in, in several tutorials you can also see how to uh, create this texture in a, in a separate YouTube video I will link that below. <coughs> so next I'll change the, the color to uh, to a yellow orange tone and uh, now right now the, the particles uh, appear and disappear very hard so I set uh, um, um, an alpha ramp in the beginning and in the end to smoothly blend in and out the particle also I increase the lifetime a lot So that this animation of uh, blending in and blending out becomes a lot smoother. I'm fine with a thousand particles as maximum. I set the rate to 500, so after two seconds I have uh, reached the maximum. That's fine. At this point, um, it looks a little bit boring, just the yellow plane surface. 
but uh, when I zoom in you can see there is a lot of detail but uh, this will uh, show up later. Um, also I changed the max particle size to 1 that's um, to to prevent the, the, the unity system to scale down the particle when I get closer. Okay, next I create a sphere to define the inside of the sun um, because the sun has a hard surface. I know it's had, as it hasn't a hard surface, but it has some material that is not transparent. So, <laughs> as the sun is not transparent and I don't want to look through it. I'll create a sphere. That's one reason. The other one is uh, with the sphere inside this particle ball, um, you can uh, simulate some nice outline between the hard part or the harder part of the sun and the yeah the, the brighter one on the outside on the surface. Um, another problem or the issue with the standard particle, uh, the standard mesh sphere from Unity is that uh, this has a very low resolution uh, in the polygons, so you see some edges and corners on on it. I then wanted uh, wanted a very perfect round ball for my son, so I created a custom sphere with a higher resolution. You can here see me uh, change this mesh in the object. Um, my imported sphere was a little bit large, so I scaled it down to 0.5. You have to apply it and, and set this in the, the model um, importing settings. Yeah, and now this sphere fits the original one. Okay, now I have a white sphere inside my particle system, but I want the sun to be glowing more reddish. So I'm adding a new material, call it Sun Mesh, added this to the, um, to the Sun Mesh, and now I'm changing the albedo color to black because I don't want any texture on it. I only want to emit the Sun a red color. With doing this you can now see what I was talking about earlier. You can now uh, see all the detail we have on on the surface uh, particle system. Uh, next I want to add some motion to the surface. So as always um, I'll set the start rotation to minus 180 to plus 180. This is to make sure all 360 degree angle is possible. Um, also you will do this or shall do this because uh, it looks more natural if you have random start values. And you also need or I want some rotation over lifetime. Again, make sure you have a positive and a negative value because if you have only one, uh, it will only rotate in one direction. Okay, the next step is um, I want to make a, a glow, an outside glow, a larger fire on the surface. For this I create a new particle system, call it PS Corona. I will again set it as sphere, a little bit smaller than the first one. I also want the particles to be emit from the shell and also align it to their direction. For this um, I will use a new material called Sun Corona and I'm using the smoke texture again. Oh, okay. Again, I set it to adaptive particles and use uh, the texture. And attach it to the particle system. Again, I set the start speed to zero, so all the particles stay on the surface. 
and again I set the uh, start size to between two constants in this case 25 to 50 I'm uh, changing the max particle to uh, 500 and we don't need that much uh, on the surface and I set the surface to uh, 250 which is a lot too much I will reckon this later um, yeah next up I'm uh, set uh, alpha ramp and beginning and at the end to smoothly blend the particles in and out and I'm setting the color to uh, to, a, to more sun color, a nice orange red tone. Ah, okay, I misclicked it and copy pasted the value again. changing the lifetime to a random value so I have uh, a longer fade duration also I want the, the glow to be animated so I set the start rotation to minus and plus 180 and again I set the rotation over lifetime And at last I set the max particle size to 1 again. And this is the point where I realized that I did something wrong because the color is much more, much too intense than I wanted it to be. So I now try to find what I did wrong. And it's a rate over time, as I mentioned before. Uh, it's is just 5 instead of 250 and yeah, now I have this nice glow around my sun. To see both uh, particle systems together in action I now attach the corona to the surface. So both are now animated at once and uh, yeah, I'm not that happy with this much yellow. So I am go back to the sun surface, to the first subparticle system and set the, the intense orange to a lighter one. Alright, for the last part I want to create some sun plasma, some sun loops, um, I don't know the English word for it, but uh, if you look at NASA pictures you see these nice um, bursts uh, out to the, to the space on, on the sun surface. I want to fake them and I want to go much more crazy with them than they are in, in real, but I think uh, it looks much more nice and interesting if you do so. Alright, so i am created a new particle system. Again, set it to a sphere, this time a little bit smaller again, 0.8. And I uh, only want them to be a mid from gel, but not a line. I'm setting up a new material, this time again adaptive particles. And I've been using a new texture called Loop. You see it in the bottom of the bottom left. Um, uh, I will bring up a tutorial on how to create this texture uh, later on. And but I will uh, do it in the description below.
I add the texture to the particle system and so that we can see what we are doing I increase the start size again random between 15 and uh, 100 for smoother animations I set the lifetime to a higher value and I'm only spawning 0.5 second because I don't want it to be flooded with these loops and uh, yeah you can see it's building up nicely what we now need is a smooth blend in and out and another color so I'm adding this and I'm giving them a transition between two colors so I'm starting with a dark red tone and I'm ending with a more orange one also I want them to be animated again I'm starting with my rotation setup and adding a rotation over lifetime. This time a very very small amount because um, they are so large. If I would choose a higher number it would look uh, strange and unreal. Yeah, at last I'm changing the max particle size to 1 and that's it. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and could understand everything I did. If not, please leave a comment, feel free to ask questions and yeah, see you next time. Goodbye.